What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thanks for tuning into yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. So two things we have going on today. One, we are going to be wiring up these hella horns. I've had these for a while now and I never wired them. Well, I did wire them. I wired them once uh, like four or five years ago. They only lasted about a couple months and then the fuse blew out. So I unplugged them and just plugged the stock horn back in and I just left it like that ever since. But now since I wanna fit this washer bottle in the bumper, I'm gonna have to use this space where the stock horn is. So that has to go. So we need to go ahead and wire these. Thing two is our freaking cap fell off out of our center cap right here. These emblems right here they just fell well one of them fell off recently one of them fell off about i'm gonna say like two years ago which is only about 2,000 miles because i barely drive this car but the one that fell off back then i never found this one actually fell off i think here in my driveway so i found it and i was like great it fell off so we need to fix this so i got this little cheap kit on amazon where it brings the center caps and then the emblems that go basically taped on there or I, I guess they have like adhesive backings to them they're black and silver not gold and gray I guess you can say but these just look so nice on this car with the Brembo's like I don't know I like that so much better than what this would look you know like I don't know so I need everyone's help on this I can't seem to locate where I can buy this color for the emblems. Somebody once told me they're rare. I highly doubt it because I feel like it's just another cheap kit, but I can't find it. And it bugs me because I want to have that instead of those silver ones. So right now I have to make a decision of if I want to run one of these and three of these, or just say, forget these and just run all four of these for now and see if I can find one of these. I don't know. I think I will hold off. It's the kit was like, I don't even remember 12 bucks. Maybe I'll have a link to them in the description if you guys need them, but I think I am going to hold off and just keep searching and maybe one day I'll find another one of these. Cause like I said, I really like these. I wish I could remake them. If somebody knows how to remake them, hit me up because I will definitely work with you because I really want to have these instead of the plain Jane ones. Not only did the emblem fall off, but these things suck. Look, they just, they literally come right off. They don't sit in there properly. So I, this is something I've always been afraid of. Like this whole thing is just going to fall off one day, but they never did. And I've gone pretty fast with these. The ring on them is broken right here. And some of them have like missing yeah like this one has two missing little tabs so that i think that's why they don't grab but we're getting rid of them and it makes our job a lot easier because they just pull right out like that i don't think this one was supposed to pull out just like that because it doesn't have a broken ring and it has all tabs on there so I don't know. I'm kind of glad that I'm getting rid of these because if they would have fallen off completely, I would have been more pissed off. So let's go ahead and throw these on. I think these sit flush with the wheel. So I'm going to throw the emblems on these and we'll throw them on the car.
I just found out that they come wrapped in a little plastic protector and I had never taken them off of these. Look how nice that looks. So cool. This is the protector that I'm talking about. So it comes in this little plastic little shield here and they just look mint under there, look. But I was taking this one off and look, it just came right off. So this one was on its way out too. So needless to say, the adhesive backing that these come with are not the best. Fitment, not the best either. They snapped right in like I had to punch them in, but look at that. They're kind of loose in there. So I'm gonna have to take it on a test drive one of these days and see if they're gonna come out. I don't think they'll come out. They're in there, they're just not tight, tight. like. I would like them to be. I don't know. I think I just have to find some OEM ones. I don't know if dealerships still have them. I don't know. I'm going to do some digging. I'm going to see if I can find some, but they look decent for the 12 bucks or seven or whatever the heck I spent on them. They're not bad. Doing these wheels just reminded me about the free wheels that I have here in the garage. I'm talking about these things. These are WRX wheels that I got for free from someone and I really need to powder coat them. I've had the powder coat for months sitting in here, but the problem is I can't get this thing to fit in my oven right here. So if I put the wheel in there, it hits the fan back there. So when I try to close it, it doesn't close all the way. I got this giant gap where i mean obviously it's not gonna work if it's open like that so i don't know what to do i can't hang it up either because it's too small and it won't fit like the face of it won't fit like that i already tried doing that that is what's in the way i wonder if i take the fan off if it'll fit one and if it'll work two i see that it has two phillips i think i'm gonna go ahead and take them off real quick test fit the wheel in here if it works then i might give it a shot i don't know if the oven is gonna mess up on me or what but i think it's worth a shot all right so i didn't know it would be just the cover that comes off i don't know why i thought the whole fan would come off but the fan actually stays in there so we might be in business let's go ahead and test fit the wheel See how we can make this work. All right, so right there, I think, oh, it actually closes all the way. Oh, wow, okay, 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 okay. I wonder how far back I can leave it though so that the fan can still spin. I think that right there would work. I'm, I don't know. I mean, right there, it's not fully closed. So right, actually it is. Oh, wow. So let me check how much space there is back there. Oh yeah, I just spun the fan right there and it spins freely. We just might be able to do these wheels. Holy crap, that gets me pretty pumped. I might actually be doing that very soon now that I know that I can fit it. The only other problem I have right now is that I need to buy one more wheel because one of these has chunks missing out of it. Especially right here, look at that. Huge chunk missing out of it. So I think I need to buy one used wheel and I think I'll be good. It's five by 100, so I can throw it on the blue car, I can throw it on the coupe, I can throw it on either one of them, which is cool. I have. A bunch of wheels now that I can interchange. So I have these 04 STI BBSs. I have the 1552s on the coupe. I have these WRX wheels that I just need to buy one and I'll have a full set. Well, I mean, I have a full set and I could probably run them like that, but I don't want to. So I have these. I have these version sevens right here and I have some Steelies right there. I am trying to get rid of the Steelies because I don't need them. 
I don't want them. And the version sevens, I want to get rid of them too, just because it's taking up way too much space. I never actually ran them on my car, which kind of disappoints me. It has huge tires on them. I forgot what the dude, the previous owner told me they were on, but there's no way that'll fit under any of my cars. So I've played with the idea of getting tire swapped from one of the wheels onto these and running these just for a little bit and then getting rid of them. I really like these wheels. So I don't want to get rid of them, but like I said, I have way too many and I've thought about getting like a rack on the wall and just hanging them up there so that they're not in the way. And I can do that too, but I don't know if I need that many wheels. Like I will have one set on each car and I think having one extra set to float around like for any emergency or whatever is enough because Subarus aren't the only cars I want to have. Like I want to finish these two and then I want to move on to other cars. Like I used to have, before I had this car, I had an IS300 and I had the rare five speed one. So I really miss that car and I really want another IS300. I really want another rear wheel drive car where I can actually hoon around in, if you will, because the Beamer, that thing is so underpowered that it doesn't even like to light up the tires. I know that was a lot of talking, but like I said, I just want to get rid of some wheels and I think I will. But anyways, let's get on to wiring these horns. So in order to do that, we are going to have to extend the normal wires from the normal stock horn onto the two hella horns right here. So we're going to unplug those and we're going to make like a jumper harness from here to each of these. So to do that, we go to our spare harness drawer right here where we have a boatload of just random wires so we're gonna grab some black for the ground and some red for power holy crap that's like a rat's nest right there so we're gonna grab this and we're gonna make a harness first things first we have our power probe hooked up so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the horn right now because we need to find out which one is power and which one is ground. So I have it hooked up to one of them. Now, when I press the horn, it should tell me if it's either power or ground. So let's go ahead and press it. And there we go. So now we know that the black and blue wire is the power and then the solid black one is the ground. So we're going to extend the ground and we're going to extend the power. Now that we know which one's which, we can go ahead and take the grill off and expose the hella horns. So I got the grill off, the hella horns are now exposed and I immediately thought of something. You guys remember me taking the overflow tank for the in fender one and taking these two bolts out and thinking what am I going to do with them? Well. They're right here and they would go perfectly right there. So I'm gonna take them off. I'm pretty sure I can clock them the way I want them to because right now both of them have the connectors on this side and the wiring is coming from this side. So I want them to have them both on that side so that it's a shorter run. To clock them, what I'm doing is I'm loosening up this I don't even know what size this is. Let me tell you guys. 13. Okay. You loosen up the 13 nut back here this is how they were so when it's upright the prongs are to the right of it we want them to be like this when it's upright the prongs are to the left of it so we're gonna go ahead clock this one and then we can start the wiring all right so here is the game plan so i came here to my electrical connector cubby set and i pulled out these 90 degrees so these are gonna go straight up then i'm gonna go two to one with these butt connectors and finally connect them into the normal harness with these so let me show you guys. So I'm gonna connect them like that. They're both gonna come up and then they're gonna run this way. But when this one and this one meet, I'm gonna put them both into one with this. And then one is gonna come out from here and go in here. And then once we are at our normal harness, we're just gonna hook this up in there and we'll be good to go.
Check out the harness I just whipped up real quick. So we got the two connectors for the farther horn, the two connectors for the closer horn right here. They're all coming together here. They splice into one right here. So we just have one power, one ground running here. Got the two spade connectors and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and throw this on and see if, if it all works. So I made it a little bit long on this end right here on purpose because I don't know where I'm going to want to route it once I have the coolant or the washer jug in here. So I made it a little bit long, like I said, on purpose and we'll see how we route it. So it's nice and out of the way, but they're both hooked up. They're not bolted up, so I can still move them and adjust them, but they are connected, so it should honk right now let's see if we can hear him all right so they definitely work they are definitely louder but they sound a little weird i don't know if i'm 100 percent on board with how they sound but i mean all hella sound like that right so i know there's companies that make brackets for these so you can mount them over here but honestly our gcs have these holes right here and they're spaced out evenly on both sides so just pick the same one that's what i did and then just make sure it's coming down straight and you're good to go it's nice and centered around the badge and you can still see it behind the grill let me have a little chat with you guys so if i'm being honest today i was supposed to get the wide body delivered so that's why i filmed this video today and i kind of like took my time with everything right now i finished it the last clip was like over an hour ago like i've been just taking my time hoping that it shows up so i can show you guys but it's almost the end of the day they were supposed to come at five the latest it's now like six or six something so not gonna happen today not gonna happen in this video i don't know if i'll catch it while i'm filming next time i don't know we'll find out but that's gonna do it for this one so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and while you're down there hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time i post a new video but that's gonna do it for this one so as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas